Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander Hybrid Platinum. Now the most notable features on this Platinum is its panoramic roof. You also have your heating and cooled front seats along with your 360 degree backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you a bit of familiar with this new Toyota Highlander hybrid platinum let's get started now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this platinum is its daytime running lights you also have your fog lamps if you take a closer look at the front grill you're going to see your front facing camera for the 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera with your integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, and heated mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is blue. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you have your automatic high beams view for the 360 degree backup camera. Along with your power lift gate, heated steering wheel and window wiper de-icer. And then on the inside of the driver's side door you have your seat memory controls along with your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Taking a look at the steering wheel, you'll see your scroll function as well as your Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition. You also have your lane departure alert, cruise control mode select, and seek function. Now, you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button, and we'll start up for you automatically. Now, taking a closer look just at the display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So you have a digital speedometer along with your distance to empty. You can also go through and see your driving support along with your audio, energy monitor, tire pressure monitoring, all wheel drive, safety system status, settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, Blind spot monitoring on and off, parking sensors on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. You'll finish with your messages menu. As you can see, you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. Taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as the display, you'll see a couple of different features on there. So as you can see, inside your menu screen, you'll see the destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. As you can also see, you can also switch this uh, screen around just in case um, you don't have a passenger in here and you need to go through some more of the controls. As you can see, you can go through the heated and cooled front seat controls with audio as well as a couple of other additional features as well. If you go inside the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. It is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and you do have the premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio. Hazard lights, you have a little shelf where you can place smaller items, as well as on your passenger side. Now, down below there you can also sync a cord through the bottom and it's connected to your USB or power outlets. It's mounted to an automatic transmission. As you can see, you have your sport, normal, and eco drive mode. And then you have the traction control on and off with your EV mode and trail. Taking a closer look just at the top here, <coughs> excuse me, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror, but you also have an additional view on the back here. And I'll show you where this camera is later on. But as you can see, you have that nice rear view of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when you're driving, you need to see exactly how much room is behind you. You have your integrated garage door opener controls with your settings menu. And up top, you have your open and close for the panoramic roof, SOS safety connect, and sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the back of camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And you can also change up the back of camera view as well. As you can see, you have a 360 degree view and then when you put it into drive and you hit that view button, it'll show you a nice front end view of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when you're in underground parking. 
Once you put it on the auto feature, anything under 10 kilometers an hour will actually stay on that screen. Anything after that, you'll be able to go back to the previous screen you were on. Now, when I'm in park and I hit the view button, it'll show me a nice 360 degree view of the vehicle and a more aerial view. So if you want, you can actually pause it just in case you do see the obstruction that's in the way. And then you can unpause it for yourself. Now, depending on what color you actually got yourself, you can also change the actual color of the vehicle in there for yourself. Then when you're all finished up, just hit the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, taking a look on the back, you have both your backup camera view and your mirror view. So as you can see, this is your backup camera and this is the uh, view that you saw in your mirror. You have the parking sensors on here as well. And then on the back of the tailgate, you have the rear hatch release. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you have a 60-40 split for the rear seat. So in the event that you need the additional space, it's available to you. You have second row captain seats for yourself as well. So if you need more additional cargo space, it is available to you. If you take a look on the left-hand side, you're gonna see that power outlet. And then underneath the floor, You'll find some of the floor storage space as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in need of some space for some smaller items, it's available to you. This is also where you'll access your spare tire, which is located underneath your rear bumper. And then you also have a power adjustable tailgate for yourself. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times. And when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you do need to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. Now you also have the kick assist feature. So if you just kick underneath the tailgate there, it'll actually close the tailgate for you automatically, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.